Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2019 with Bath City Football Club here in Skybet League 2. And coming up we have the third round in the FA Cup against Bolton Wanderers at Wanderers at home here on Raslow Gaming. So hopefully we can do a good result there and maybe do a little bit of a surprise or a shock result that we would definitely be really great but uh, yeah I kind of doubt that will happen but uh, we'll see here so Tavares and uh, Bert out on a loan for to Torquay unfortunately not doing too great not really developing as we would like but uh, that's how things are and we got some player development advice from our trainer or coach Jamie Crowder here so uh, nothing really to note here uh, to p players that lost potential uh, ability and uh, we have quite a few players that uh, are in need of a rest but uh, we don't have time or space in our squad so to say for anyone to get a long rest here unfortunately uh, so we'll just get stuck in and hope for the best so to say and I will work towards the next match day here so uh, hopefully we'll get a good result there and hopefully we'll get good attendance and a little bit of extra cash that would certainly be nice and uh, let's see here, what do we have next? Yeah, of course, a scouting meeting in first player action in quite a while and that, uh, that would add a bit of quality according to our agent and everything like that. Uh, that is playing with four screen at the moment. So let's scout the player and we'll check that out. Uh, we'll discard here, nothing more, so no super interesting there uh, getting those a little bit more often in the transfer windows which we are now so uh, we should be playing in Akinoli instead of merch here and uh, that is something we'll definitely do folks play down the left according to our uh, assistant manager is the tactics we should use for Bolton Wanderers, but uh, I don't believe we have any strengths in either of our wings, so that is pretty much out of the question. And according to the bookmakers, we're actually not that far behind Bolton at all, at 3.0 in odds, even though Bolton is in Skybet Championship, I don't see how we could have so low low odds it's really strange actually training last week really great again at 809 as an average uh, or under 23 is at 7.99 and under 18 is at 8.11 so let's take a little look here at Matthew Slack for example unfortunately no real uh, potential ability at all in uh, the same case with tech Take a spear, took a spear there. So I'm uh, going to skip that and only check our uh, first team here. So Gray, uh, still training great. Um, and it's here. Yeah, some uh, good ability changes there on the Gray. Gosling improving steadily here, which is very nice. Still, unfortunately, only a one and a half star. But uh, he's developing pretty steadily, I said, so he will still get a chance here as long as he performs. But sadly, not improving, unfortunately. June improving, heat improving, that's good, but not a uh, player that is assigned to us, which is unfortunate. Aiken improving as well. Loves him a little bit, chance. Not really. Hello, <coughs> the Havland, yeah. Fortunately, we can't say that any of our own players is uh, improving a lot. Uh, we'll start in vision training for Morris. And let's continue here. 
towards the match day and then uh, we'll see here if we have uh, any players that we are able to use properly here uh, or if our whole squad pretty much is the dead tired and I think that is going to be the case but uh, we'll take a look first before we <laughs> take take uh, well decide how things are before we even have it started so to say uh, our under 18s is doing pretty darn well at least and at third in at the under 18 division south division 3 south of west so let's see here team selection then uh, Molden, Baker, Jordan, Akinola yeah seems quite correct to me should have Morris of course instead of Jordan and I do believe it should have Aiken instead of Jones yeah they are all fit and let's see here Who should we have on the right wing? We should have O'Connor. And uh, let's get in Merch on the bench here. And I think we want to play Gosling instead of Adeloy. And he will get to play. So that was the wrong button. He will get to play his favorite position, advanced forward. And we should be playing Sangster and the Havland. Or are we? Who's our best middle <coughs> center midfielders? No, it's the Havland and Charles who we are having on the field. Yeah, this is the strongest team. So I think we should go for uh, that. We'll submit the team here and uh, hope that this will work out for us so continue and kick off so starting off pretty slow here the first 10 minutes nothing too much happening First chance goes to Bath actually, 3-2-1 in terms of shots there after 15 minutes. Uh, after 25 minutes it's all pretty even in terms of possession, we have the small edge in terms of shots though. First time that here in the 28 minute Bath it with the ball, many passing up to Sunday I thought but that is for Bolton Wonders and it's a goal and they take the lead here 0-1 for Bath City versus Bolton Wonders and Boy, did they have a, a way kit that were certainly very much like our home kit. And uh, yeah, uh, uphill pattern have now started and I don't think it will get any better unfortunately. And that new highlight here in the 30 minute mark, again for Bolton Wonders I were going to say but uh, that looked like it was play for us but uh, they Bolton Wonders coming here on a counter attack but our keeper stays there luckily and steers it out to a corner and here's the corner and uh, cleared out to safety and then uh, <coughs> Let's see here. Sorry for the voice. Really raspberry now, uh, so to say. Don't know what happened there, but uh, I guess I've spoken a little bit too much in uh, in what I recorded just before uh, this or something like that. So taking a little bit of a toll on uh, my voice. But after one half, we got the scoreline: a zero to one for Bassett versus Bolton. Shots six to eleven. Shots on target five to five. Possession. 48 to 52 percent and let's see here overall our players actually doing sort of all right but not the way they could be doing of course they could definitely do better 
in that time in uh, no way expecting to win or lead this match so being down only 0-1 to one, I think is alright and a new highlight here in the 54th minute Bonton wonders with the ball and shooting there and good save by Molden and out for a corner and here comes the corner and uh, headed out to safety at the moment and a long ball up towards Ponte Celle but not really anything to be able to use here so I think we'll do a substitution or two here pretty early and uh, I will focus in on the midfield since we have uh, Havland and Heath here very tired so taking off the Havland and Heath as said with the Gray and Sangster and uh, that will be all the changes for now and I think we'll maybe put out uh, Gosling here a little bit later I will shout Charles some passion, a corner here from Charles and uh, headed out and uh, O'Connor getting grip on the ball passing to midfield to Morris, putting it up to Gray to the left hand side to Charles and unfortunately getting dispossessed here and a chance for a counter attack for Bolton and getting the ball forward here and now they're coming through here and our one on one versus our keeper but shoot hard in at the top bar uh, so we'll do a substitution here and let Eloy in instead of Gosling and let him play as a poacher and another chance for Bolton here and unfortunately it's another goal so they extend the lead to 32 now here in the 75th minute and uh, yeah pretty good goal there by Bolton and, and not for us and we'll still do the changes here shout the man more here for uh, one shout doesn't really make any difference especially since we are pretty much here at the end of the game we'll have the highlight here for the final whistle and we can uh, we can keep our losses here and uh, and uh, yeah just get on with it and uh, and let this one go so the final result for Bassett versus Bonton is 32 shots is 8 to 23 shots on target 5 to 9 and possession 43 to 57 percent so pretty much as expected I would say uh, definitely think we could have it done better though uh, so hopefully we can take a take a a mission to do better in the league match that we have coming up here in a couple of days at home and that sends us there 4 point or 4596 which is really good unfortunately we split the proceedings with the ball so it doesn't mean that we are going to get in that much money on the match as we would have gotten if we were playing uh, away since we would have shared the profits on uh, that match from uh, from um, Bolton and Wonders but we still made a new record attendance and still gate receipts so that's up to 130k but uh, as I said I think we are splitting that with uh, Bolton Rovers so uh, only 65 in reality Or maybe not, since that showed a profit of 224k in this month, I do believe, or maybe this year, uh, if it's or this season, if it's this season, uh, then we did certainly split the proceedings. But I, I'm not too sure, actually, um, or I, I'm, I am sure that we are were doing that. I'm not too sure if that 130k were 
before or after that. That is what I mean. So some for here making an offer for uh, Sangster apparently. And uh, yeah. I don't really want to sell him, so I, I think I'm gonna reject the offer. And uh, let's see here. What more? Nothing really too special. I uh, will double intensity here for Steve Hardy and uh, play a traitor for all the merch. So according to bookmaker we see the match against Bromley coming up. We are small favorites, so hopefully we can uh, do just as the bookmakers say we are going to do. And I will see here. Uh, yeah, we made his decision that we don't want to let him go. here yeah and say that we will need a replacement for him and that's true all right then we got to tell him that he's not leaving until we are ready to let him go pretty much uh, and I said we are well too slim in our squad to really have uh, a quality to play like him leaving us uh, unfortunately and uh, yeah if you're enjoying this content I, I don't feel like I've been really up to the energy level that I should be in, in this episode but uh, if you're enjoying this show still remember to smash that like button it's very much appreciated and also if you haven't done so yet hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on any of the content that we upload daily here on Raw Slow Gaming. So with that said, we'll continue with this match and uh, the team selection and that will stay exactly the same like in the last match since everyone is above 90% or higher and 90% in uh, condition is our lowest threat threshold for uh, picking the players to play and we'll comment the match and uh, the proceedings just as usual here and hopefully have a good match here that will bring us up the table into a little bit of a more safe spot in term in the playoff area or play of a zone so first silent here in a 15 minute and it's for Bromley unfortunately and it's just wide of the goal there so lucky not uh, getting that in uh, our uh, well against us very alone and a uh, free kick there from Heat just over the bar and the next highlight straight after that here in the 20 minute mark and that uh, Ball passing back and forth with Bromley, but we managed to intercept the ball or uh, free the ball and playing it wide here to O'Connor. O'Connor unfortunately making a bad cross that is picked up by Bromley and they are through here on a one-on-one -on, -one on a counter-attack, but we managed to save it just on the goal line or the keeper rather managed to save at that. Next highlight here in the 26 minute uh, throw in from Bessie from Aiken passing to Pontzelli to the Havland, the Havland with the ball driving it to the middle to Charles passing it wide to Aiken, Aiken passing it in to Heat, Heat crossing it and no one were there but uh, Corner managed, managed to pick up the loose ball but only giving it away to Bromley unfortunately that are going forward here on a counter attack and are getting through all the way to the penalty box or penalty area and uh, Losing the ball in the penalty box. So a chance for a counter-attack for Bath City here instead. Poncelli playing it wide to O'Connor here inside the penalty area and Gosling and it's a goal here for Bath City in the 26th minute or 27th minute and taking the lead 1-0 to zero for Bath City versus Bromley. So Gosling just getting that goal 
uh, well, the keeper there saving or <laughs> reaching the ball and almost getting it outside of the post or on the post and out, but uh, just creeped in nonetheless. So that's really nice. And uh, we are in the certain night minute now. Ponsil picking up a loose ball and shooting just wide of the goal there, almost an extremely easy and cheap goal. Next highlight here in the 41st minute. Aiken with the ball down in our utmost defensive area, playing a long ball towards Ponsilli and Ponsilli are through it to Gosling and he shoots and it's a goal for Bassett here and we extend the lead to 2 to 0 versus Bromley here just before the end of the first half. So that were definitely a very important goal for us uh, to secure in this match. And uh, a really good goal as well. Great pass from Aiken there from the start and a very good vision to be able to play it and a good run from Puntzeli and from Gosling. And we have a highlight here straight after that goal. Bromley passing the ball back and forth here and uh, let's see here what's happening. A lot of pinball but playing it wide here on the right hand side. But uh, the ball back to Aiken again here and Aiken with another long ball there but unfortunately not finding the right address that time around. But uh, the ball back to Charles here and Poncelli are through. Poncelli versus the keeper and it's another goal here in the 42nd minute. And uh, we extended our lead here again and before the end of the first half. So... Uh, at this stage, I just wish the first half were the end of the match, so nothing crazy happens, but uh, we'll see how things go really, I guess. Uh, but uh, this is definitely better than we could possibly ask for after one half, and things are still not over since we do have another highlight here in the 47th minute. I'm gone. Connor on the ball here on the right hand side, pass it to Baker and pass it to Charles in the middle, up to Gosling, O'Connor on the right hand side again, and Charles comes here, and with a shot that is just saved on a uh, leg parade, but uh, we get the ball back in, it's another goal for Bassett here uh, by the Havilland at this time, and extending the, the lead once more here before the end of the first half. Really good save there by the keeper. And uh, good picked up by our players and uh, they have learned a really good finish there actually. Dribbling in uh, the box and getting away with a nice shot and extending our lead to 4-0 to zero after one half versus Bromley. Shots 11 to 10, shots on target 6-3 to three in possession, 43-57%. to 57%. And uh, yeah, the lads performing stunningly well. Uh, everyone above 7.0, except Luke Heat and uh, our goalkeeper, but really stunning so far by the lads. So not looking to do any changes whatsoever, just looking to finish this game as fast as possible so we don't lose it, so to say. And uh, seems to be a highlight here straight from the kickoff in the second half. Uh, but as I said, we don't really want to see any highlights whatsoever. But uh, here is a ball from Bromley, but saved by our keeper there. And here comes the corner. And there we have it ending finally. Unfortunately, we do get the highlight pretty much straight after here in the 50 minute mark. And I really should be stop saying thereafter or shortly thereafter because uh, that's how it is very often. Uh, saved by your keeper though, and out for a corner here again. And headed out, and we managed to get hold of the ball and uh, the highlight over there. Uh, 
so it is 16 minutes mark here so time for a substitution but first a design and the Havlander with the ball and he shoots and just over the top bar Uh, so all players performing really well as I said so we'll pick the players that are most tired and that is uh, Charles and De Havilland. So we'll put in uh, Grey and Sangster instead of those players. And we'll put in... Or actually, we'll put in Gray instead of uh, O'Connor and Lundström instead of uh, one of the center midfielders. And uh, we'll hope that we don't get any, any injuries or anything crazy like that in uh, the last 30 minutes. And uh, a highlight going on here in the 65th minute, the ball with Gray at the moment, passing to Lundström and a long ball up towards Gosling. Gosling be able to cross, yeah, but unfortunately badly addressed here again, so, but uh, picking up the second ball at least. And uh, passing to Gray to Lundström to Gray, uh, driving the ball in and he shoots and well wide of the post there unfortunately. And next highlight here in 70 minutes mark and yeah my voice is really starting to go and uh, having a hard time actually uh, commenting this properly but from here with that shot and they get in a reduction here now on this line 4 to 1 for Bassett versus Bromley. And uh, pretty much a, just a power shot. It looked like our keeper should be able to save it, but uh, didn't get it enough over the goal, so to say. Bromley here with a corner in the 75th minute. And uh, looking dangerous here inside the penalty area, but uh, we managed to clear it. And... Uh, a chance for a counter-attack here, maybe. Gray with the ball here on the right-hand side, passes it in to Sangster, passing it wide to Gosling, and it's a penalty for Bath City here, and Gosling will take it. And it's a goal for Bath City here. Thinking back to lead to four goals, now total 5-1 to one for Bath City versus from here in the 76th minute. And uh, somehow he tricked the keeper there because that penalty didn't look that well placed at all. Uh, if the keeper only stood on his feet, that should have been a pretty easy save. From here in the 86 minute, and it's another goal. Now at the scoring 5 to 2 for Bessit versus Promi in the 86 minute. A really great corner there, actually, and a super. Uh, placed uh, or placed a super powerful volley there uh, on a lucky bounce probably again on a corner and another goal in the 89th minute so the scoreline are five to three and as i said i really would have wanted rather that the game were ending after one half than uh, needing to play another half because uh, Bromley has won this half so far with three to one Sorry for um, yeah for the sound of my nose nose my nose is actually kind of sick as well so to say or uh, well yes just irritating as I'm doing this anyway the final result is in order it's uh, calling out a full time is five to three for Bassett versus Bromley shots sixteen to twenty two shots on target seven to eleven possession forty to sixty percent and uh, yeah the lads definitely performed after. Uh, the last match where they didn't do that good, uh, they did so certainly in uh, this match and uh, very proud of them after that game. And after that game we are now up to 5th place in the league, 4 points up to a sure promotion spot and uh, 20 points clear of the relegation zone. 
719 attending the game. So not too great at all. And uh, players needing a rest, of course. And Gosling will praise for his performance. And with that said, that will be everything for this episode. So I hope you have enjoyed. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time here on the channel. Thank you and bye-bye. You have been watching Rollsclaw Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel. And with that said, thank you again for watching.